let's look at this really great banjo that features a Warren Yates tone ring and also a, uh, a rim. So you're, uh, uh, the rest of the parts are unknown, so it's kind of a parts banjo, but uh, it's really good parts, and it's an opportunity to get something for uh, a lot less than if it came out of the Gibson factory, for example, and it probably is better banjo. So uh, let's uh, hear what it sounds like. Okay, so I, I do camps, I teach a lot, I run into a lot of banjo players, and uh, I see uh, guys that are spending a lot of time, and they have a six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollar banjo, and they want to move up, but they can't, don't quite want to make the jump to the Gibson. So what we have right now is five or six what I call superior parts banjos that you can buy for maybe sixty percent of the cost of a true Gibson banjo, but they have, in many cases, the same exact parts, and because uh, banjo worker bees move from factory to factory, and sometimes they make their own banjos, in many cases, it's made by the same people with the same parts that made the Gibson stuff, okay? So that's what this is. So if we look at it, we see a uh, clamshell type tailpiece, we see a one-piece armrest, okay, and it must be confusing because all these banjos look pretty much alike. And then uh, we go up the uh, uh, neck and we see the seagull pattern, which is featured on the RB1s, okay? And then we rotate it around and uh, bingo, there you see uh, this headstock and it does have a speed neck and particularly on Curly Maple, which this is, the speed neck really lets you play faster. It feels great. Um, the reason I did the speed neck is if you have a banjo that's 50, 60 years old, you've played a lot, usually you'll have worn the finish off the neck. So this is a way to age the banjo and have it play like a 50 or 60 year old banjo. Plays like butter, so to speak. Okay, so let's look at the inside. And uh, we see, and I'm gonna show you the back of the resonator in a second. So three ply, maple rim and a Yates solid tone ring. Okay, now the solid tone rings really cut. Okay, if you're in a jam, somebody has a solid no hole tone ring, it just is a powerful tone ring. All right, so, you know, talking about the really good materials, look at the curl on that resonator. That is a absolute first class resonator. And you can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna go back to the neck because the neck has a lot of curl on it, and it also matches the resonator. That is one curly neck, okay? So that's a really nice piece of wood. So what we have is a superior instrument that uh, you can buy somewhere in cost between a Gibson banjo and your, you know, your kind of beginner starter banjo. And this is a way to move up, and if you uh, 
really stick with it, then you can spend a bunch of money later on, hopefully with us. But anyway, if you have any questions, you can call Andy at 404-372-5482. You can go to banjowarehouse.com, see pictures. If you want to visit us, call us first because we might be doing something. We will see you seven days a week. Of course, we have to be in town. Sometimes I'm doing clinics up in North Georgia. But give us a call, a uh, day in advance, hopefully. And uh, if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe to us and you'll get notifications. And uh, we hope that everybody has a Merry Christmas. Hope that you get that new step up banjo because uh, then the next year you can play a lot better, have a lot more fun. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a call and we'll talk to you later.